wouldn't start. Couldn't even get the car door open. I didn't know what to do. So I came back and I told the young doorman, he, oh, he's handsome. Young, <laughs> you know, anyhow, beautiful white teeth. Can't get over it. Why did I have to get old? Anyhow, I said, Josh, my key doesn't work. The car door won't open. Nothing happens. Well, he came out and he checked it and, yep, something's wrong. Came back in. So it admit I had to call AAA. Jan had got me on AAA several months ago. I called AAA. They came right on over. Young man's name was Sean. And, yeah, it's the battery. And better check your warranty. I said, my warranty's good. I know it is. I just bought that battery in August. And you sold it to me. So he checked things out. Yep. Yeah. So they... He... He walked back over to the car, and I'm standing there looking under the hood as if I know what I'm looking at. And uh, he says, uh, I can sell you a new battery for $450. Well, put yourself in my place. What would you have done? I did what I usually do. I said an unmentionable word. And he just killed over laughing. He said, your warranty's good. You get a new battery. So he was just teasing me. And I thought, well, okay, while we're teasing, I'll just tell you something. Do you ever go on YouTube? Well, once in a while, I said, all right. I'm going to tell you a YouTube channel you need to be watching. And there was another man with him. He was helping him, I guess. I took two of them to lift that little battery, you know. So, uh, I told him my YouTube channel, and he turns around, he tells his partner, she's on YouTube. He told him my YouTube channel. And I thought, yeah, they won't remember that. They won't get out of this driveway, this parking lot, and they'll forget what I told them. Well, lo and behold, that night I was reading, last night I was reading my YouTube comments, and there was Sean. Now, wasn't it nice? I said, okay, now he knows where I live. He, he knows I've got AAA, and he'll be getting called if I ever have any more problems, especially with my battery. Okay, I went on to Kroger. Of course, I was looking for one or two bargains. You know, they have those special days, and I never can keep up when those special days are. But I'm roaming around through the store trying to remember the things I need to get to restock my refrigerator and I came across this great big bin and it was filled with pie crust Kroger pie crust and some of them were uh, small pie, pie crust they were two in a package you know how they come two in a package and I looked and I saw these two pie crust uh, Deep dish. That's what I wanted. Deep dish. Two for a dollar. Two for a dollar. I don't know if that meant two packages or two in a package. Well, it didn't matter because one package was all I wanted. Ah, oh, these are just a perfect size to make quiche. And I don't need big quiche. I need small ones. I'll give it a try. So I brought them home. Now, ordinarily, I'll put something in the refrigerator and it get pushed to the back. 
about three months later, I discover it there, and it's too late. It gets tossed. Well, this time I decided, no, nope, I'm going to use these pie crusts. So I got them out here. I've been working. I've been getting all of my ingredients together. Chopping and a cutting and a whatever needs to be done. Now here's one of those pie crusts. It's about eight inches, I guess you'd say. Looks real pretty. Now, I don't know how to make quiche. Well, I started looking on the internet, reading this, reading that, reading what appealed to me. And a little of this and a little of that. And okay, maybe I'll put one together. But goodness gracious, the thing is, I've got to remember what and how much. Now, we're going to be doing this trial and error. You're going to get to help me. Shame this isn't live, so you could call and say, that's wrong, you need to do this. But we're going to see what happens. Two for a dollar, how can I miss? All right. Now, I do know that when you're preparing quiche or even pie, lots of time the crust on the bottom gets soggy. What do you do? I started looking. Well, there are two or three different methods. And the method I chose was, I've got the oven already heated. I was going to Use egg white. You coat the bottom and sides of your pie crust with egg white. So I've already broken up one. And I've got my egg white right here. And I'm going back and forth across this. And this is supposed to give it a coating so that the moisture doesn't get through the layer of egg white to the crust and make it soggy. We're going to find out if that's the way it works. I'm going to make sure it gets plenty of egg white here. You just watch while I work. Now keep your fingers crossed because I sure am going to hate throwing out two quiches. Now they're not going to be the same. I decided I'd make two different kinds. But I'll coat them both with the pie crust, I mean the, with the egg white. Yeah, go around along the sides a little bit too. I may be doing it too much, but we'll find out. You just figure me a junior learner. Some things I just didn't grow up with. We didn't know what quiches were when I was growing up. My mother never knew anything about doing this kind of stuff. Pie crust was meant for coconut cream pie and pecan pies and of course chocolate. And she did her own pie crust so she knew what she was doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just coating this good and we're going to hope for the best. There goes my layer of egg white. Now sure enough I'm taking their word for it. This is going to be a liner to keep my crust from being soggy. Now, the next thing we're going to do, first I want to tell you, one quiche I'm making is going to be sausage, green red peppers, onions, and that's it. Okay. The other one is going to be ham and broccoli. So, maybe one of the two will turn out good. Now, something I, uh, I noticed, it calls for heavy cream. I don't have heavy cream, but I've got half and half. Now, what do I do? So, I start reading. <clears throat> One of the things, if you're just using milk, and I figure, okay, half and half milk. Um, what was going to say? Oh. You add, I'll add cornstarch to it. That gives it the body it needs if you aren't using the heavy cream. So that's what I'm going to do later. Right now, 
I'm going to uh, saute my onions and my green pepper. And I've got a little bit of thyme here. Now, it didn't say anything about putting thyme in it, but I'm putting thyme in it anyway. We're going to find out. I'm going to create something terrific here. Or at least the dogs will eat it. So, okay. Now, while, uh, while my butter is heating up a little bit, I'm going to put this over on the stove. And I'm going to do my eggs. I'm using four eggs. Someday I'm going to learn to do this one-handed. Well, it, I can't wait much longer, I don't think. I don't have that much time. Well, where'd that hit? I cracked it somewhere. Thought I did. Three and four. There's my four eggs. I'm gonna whip them good. Now I think I'm ready for my onions and where's my pepper? Now I chop these small because I don't like big chunks of anything in my vegetables. <clears throat> so they're they're chopped very small. You can see how and it's not a lot of them. I don't want to overdo what I'm making. So let's see if my yeah, I think I'm about ready to pour the onions and the peppers. I'll go ahead and put those in. Let them sizzle a little bit. Got another half the onion I might use in the other. Okay, my peppers. You can't see what I'm doing over here, but I can tell you what I'm doing. You can use your imagination. I'm going to use a little salt and pepper. And let's see, where's the pepper? The pepper. Oh, here's some white pepper. That'll do. Okay, there's my pepper. Now, let me find something to stir that around a little bit. Uh, um, I'll use a fork. Now, yeah, I'm just stirring this up. It, now, I put in butter. It didn't say what I was supposed to saute in. So, I just decided to try the butter. going to continue with egg. you got to get my milk out. Now, this is half and half. I'm going to use, uh, I may be making a mistake, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to use two cups of half and half. There's one and two. Now, if I've used too much, we'll do this. And 
to put my milk back. We'll do this. We're going to go with cornstarch. I'm familiar with cornstarch. I use it a lot. So this is a half a tablespoon full. I'm going to put a whole tablespoon. The land sake, no telling what we're going to end up with. That will give it the fluffiness instead of being rubbery. Hopefully, it will come out nice and fluffy. You put cornstarch and scrambled eggs and it makes them fluffy. Have you ever done that? You got a crowd coming, you got to have a lot of scrambled eggs. Well, no, it isn't cornstarch. You just baking powder you put in scrambled eggs. And it makes them puff up and it makes it look like a lot of eggs. So my cornstarch looks like it's dissolved in there pretty good. I think I'll add a little uh, garlic and herbs. You know, sometimes these quiches are so bland, you think, goodness gracious. I'm just going to take a pinch or two of the garlic and herbs. It can't hurt it. Might not be the best thing to do, but we're going to find out. Yeah, that's going to work. I'm sure it will. I just hope I've got enough here for two quiches. That's the problem. They may be thin quiches instead of thick ones. So, I'm saving my bacon. Oh yeah, I gotta put bacon in. Forgot about that. Bacon. Gotta stir up my peppers and onions first. Get them ready. I don't want them too fresh. Okay, we'll let them fry a little more. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and put my bacon in with the, that because it's kind of stuck together. And I want it to be nice and loose. I love bacon. Whole pound of bacon. Take a look. That's a pound of bacon right there. That's all you get. Well, the reason it, I fried the whole pound was I was cleaning out my freezer and discovered I had four packages of bacon. Every time I'd see bacon, I'd think, I might want to make some, something with bacon. So I'd buy another pound. Well, here's one of them. It's going in the skillet. Now you folks have got to keep your fingers crossed. You got to hope that this is going to work out. If I can turn this around a little bit so you can see the stove. If that did anything, let me get out of the way. Well, that didn't help you much. But anyhow, we'll see how that works. Now, let's see, what are we waiting for? We'll let that fry a little bit longer before I put it in with the mixture. Might need to cool down a little bit too. No, you can't see what I'm doing. But like I said, use your imagination. You know what my hand is doing up in there. Okay, I want to show you a bowl. While I was digging through getting my utensils ready, I came across this bowl. You ever seen a bowl like this before? Take a good look. If you're my age, you have. You know what this was used for at our house? Oatmeal. This was our oatmeal bowl. Every 
every morning for breakfast. We had oatmeal whether we wanted it or not. I would love to have a set of these. Just for old time's sake. Don't necessarily want the oatmeal. But I'd like to have a set of these bowls and I never see them anywhere. Oh, wait, I paid $3 for this. Still got the seal on it. Small white bowl, $3. I'll just leave that little seal on there since I'm not using it. But I just thought you'd like to see one of the vintage items in my kitchen. I've got several vintage items, and you've seen most of them already. But every now and then, I like to show you something new and different. Now I'm going to... I think this is fried long enough. I had butter in it. Yeah. I hope I don't fry my eggs when I pour this in here. We're going to find out. No, I can't do it that way. I have to pour part of this in another bowl. Let me find another bowl. Okay, uh, I don't know if I can figure this in halves or not, but I'm going to try, because it's going in two different di pie crusts. A little more. One more little bit. Now, I think I've got it divided about half and half there. We're going to set this one aside. And now we're ready to put this in. Just dump it right in there. Probably got too much grease in there. But, that's one thing I'm going to tell you. You experts on making quiche, don't tell me what I did wrong. I'll know what I did wrong if it doesn't turn out good. We're going to find out. I don't know how that stuff's going to come out to be anything. I sure hope it does. I can't think what I'm leaving out. I think I'll put a little bit of parsley in. I don't have any fresh parsley. I don't keep it on hand because I don't use it often enough. Well, I'll just sprinkle a little parsley in there. That makes it look pretty if nothing else. I was hoping for some green onion, but I don't buy green onions very often because I don't have any real need for them. Anyway, there's a little bit of parsley. You saw how much I just pinched in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in this uh, come on. I want to get over here where you can see it. I'm going to put that in this Line, what did I do with my egg white? Oh, there it is. Won't make sure I've got enough. I'll just add a little bit more. You have to make sure I've covered the bottom good. I may end up with a scrambled egg on the bottom, but so what? We like scrambled eggs anyway. Won't matter. I think I'm going to just rub a little around the top, too. But that's the way they do most pie crust. I don't make pies. Never was very good at it. And if it has graham cracker crust, I'll make it. But I don't like making pie crust. 
because I make a mess out of them. So, okay, there. That's enough. Now, let me think. Have I done everything right so far? What have I forgotten? Something tells me this ain't gonna work. I've got my eggs. That's the main thing, the eggs. So here we go. It's gonna have plenty of stuff in it. If it works. Now we may not get to see these quiches tonight because it takes 40 to 45 minutes. I've got a great big flat pan in my oven. I use it in case there are spills and things and I'm hoping it comes in handy for this. I'll be right with you as soon as I get this set in the pan. Okay, it's in there. I've got till the 20 to 9. I've got about 9.35. All right. We'll put this in the sink. And we'll work on the ham and broccoli. Now I'm going to put a little bit of thyme in this. I don't know if thyme goes in quiches or not, but you're going to find out because this is fresh thyme. Just a little. Now I'm going to cut up some more onion. I want onion in this too. Don't have, oh yeah, I do have a story for you. You know, I've told you about my sister. The one that uh, was nominated as a senior citizen volunteer and received awards in Louisville and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and you had to be 85 in order to uh, qualify for the contest. That means she was a worker. She does things for people. Okay. Her birthday is today. She's 95 years old today. She's going to a birthday party. But birthday party not hers. Birthday parties are great grandsons. They're celebrating for him. She's like me. She'd just soon do away with the celebrations. So I'm going to get this. I thought you'd like to know that. She's still going pretty strong. She goes where she wants to, still drive. She's going out in the country to her grandson's house. He's got a beautiful new country home. Love it. I haven't seen the inside, but I've seen the outside. And uh, she bought him clothes. She said she bought, he didn't want clothes. He just, I don't know, he's about five years old, I think, four or five years old. He didn't want clothes. But that's what he's getting from her. Because she figured... How many Tonka trucks and cars and wagons can a kid have? Now, I say that because his daddy worked for John Deere. So, you know, his daddy rides on those John Deere tractors. And that little boy rides on those John Deere tractors tractor with his daddy and naturally he loves John Deere. I suspect he'll be getting a few trucks and tractors. So 
I'm not going to saute these onions. I'm going to leave them just like they are, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, let's do this this way. I'll pull this to the edge, hold this bowl down here, and drop everything right in there. I guess this is how you do it too, don't you? So that way you don't have any spill. Okay. Now... This is private selection ham in the deli. It's honey baked, honey ham. And I had it uh, shaved. So when I cut it up, it's small. It'll work well. And I like ham and quiches. So we're gonna pour this ham right in that bowl. Got a lot of ham. Doesn't look like it, but it is once you get it in this bowl. Have you been able to see everything okay so far? Stir that up. I need a little salt and pepper in this too. What to do with salt? Okay. More pepper. Let's try this pepper. Gotta have a little pepper and everything. Just ice cream. That ought to do it. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna have to coat my other pie crust. Get it over here, not sitting on the stove baking. I hope this sure works. I'm going by their word. Those people on the internet all know what they're talking about. They're professional cooks. I'm just learning. Never too late to learn, you know. Sometimes you wait long enough, you don't ever have to make item but one time. Now, there was one or two other ways. I, I didn't want to use the parchment paper and pile a bunch of beans. I don't have any beans. I've got rice, but I didn't want to fill that pie crust full of rice. I just decided the uh, egg white ought to do the trick. And if it doesn't, I'll be sure and let you know, and I'll let the people on the Internet know it didn't work. Let's go around the top here so that it'll make it golden brown. Yeah, you can tell Julia Child could have used me. Did you ever see that one of her holding up that big old duck? I don't know how anybody could cook a duck. She's holding it up by its legs. Oh my, I've been reading all my comments. You people have been awful nice, especially about that contest. We just have to forget that contest. We're gonna go for better things. And in fact, uh, Jessica sent me a note today. She's working on the sweatshirt idea. Now, I don't know exactly what we'll turn out with, but uh, we may try one idea and if that doesn't work, we'll try another. But she's pretty good at anything she does. And I think she'll set it up for me. She's going to get it all ready and then I can let you know when the, if it's going to be sweatshirts or t-shirts. And and we can start. We can start ordering them. That'll be nice. Be nice for my pocketbook too. Yeah, anything's good for my pocketbook. I didn't tell you about Jan's house. 
Well, it's Charlie's house. Jan's going to sell her house. But Charlie lives out there. Oh, when you drive up, you can see. Of course, it's winter time. You know, nothing pretty in the winter. But, uh, It's a big, long, white house. Has a little bit of gingerbread on the porch. We went in the back door because it's all, all muddy and messy that day. Been raining and raining and raining. So, oh, gotta get my broccoli in here. I've already put it in the oven. I'm in the microwave and did what they say do. So, this is going to have plenty of broccoli in it. I like broccoli and things like this. I don't like broccoli just to eat by itself, but when it's mixed with other things, I do. This is going to be a thick, thick quiche. Whoa, I forgot the cheese. Oh, Lord. I got to get that pie out of the oven. Where's my... I forgot the cheese. Maybe I can get it out in time. I'm just going to dump the cheese on top of this. Do you ever see anybody do anything like this? Well, you're seeing it now. Okay, this is sharp cheddar. I don't know, it's laying right there under my fingertips and I forgot to put it in. Hope I don't overdo it. But thank goodness I caught it before it starts baking. A little bit more, and I'll have that taken care of. Whew! Glad y'all reminded me. Push it back in the oven. Now, folks, I'm really hoping that this turns out to be the best piece you ever ate. Now, this time, I'm going to sprinkle a little cheese on the bottom. They say you put it in first and just let the cheese melt. You don't want to leave it in there while it bakes. Take it out and that coats your pie crust. You've got just enough cheese on the bottom for it to cover the surface and we're going to see how that works so you have two different methods of keeping your pipe crust from getting soggy i think that's plenty right there so we're going to wait well i could probably put this one in there too i can get the other one over it'll take a little more time but I'm not going to be able to show it to you. But I'll do another video tomorrow. And I'll let you see. Or I'll, I'll do another video later when this gets done. And then I'll show it tomorrow. Part one and part two. So this one can't be filled up yet. Mm, a little extra egg white. I'll just dump it in there. Cause it, I think it's going to need it anyway. Can you see what I'm doing? It's a crying shame I can't get my camera set so you can see the things I'm doing looking at something except my face. I think this one's going to be a good one. But I have to wait. 
Hmm. Let's see what I need to do. I think I will go ahead and put this pie crust in the oven now. I'm going to have to move the other pie over a little bit. think. Just hold on. I'll be with you. I'm scooting this way over and hope I can get both of them in there and I don't think I can. Let me see if I can. Well, I think Maybe that'll work. We'll find out. I'll give it a few minutes. Have to watch it close because I don't want it to start baking. Where was I? Trying to think. I'm glad we've got the holidays over with. Got to come up with some projects for January and February. You know, they're always bad months. Nobody likes those two months. Doesn't matter where you live. I was trying to figure how many countries I've heard from. I got a message from New Delhi, India. Well, you know, we don't talk about those little countries very much. Then I got one, I think it was yesterday, from, goodness gracious, I've already forgotten where it was from. It was a country I wasn't used to seeing. And there's one from Somalia. Somalia? Yeah, I think that was it. Somalia's right next to Italy. It's a small country, the lady told me it was. This is so exciting when I can run down the countries and I was trying to figure all of the states and today I was checking my messages and there was one from Colorado and I said, oh my gosh, I forgot to list Colorado. I've had several, several messages from Colorado, but you know those little things, they don't always get remembered when you're trying your best to remember and you recall. My recall is not real good, so you just have to bear with me. Got to get my eggs down in the disposal here. You know, I don't use my dishwasher. It's a cheap dishwasher, doesn't, doesn't do much. And you have to wash your dishes before you can put them in the dishwasher. You just might as well wash them in the first place, and that's what I do. I wash my dishes in the sink. Don't use the dishwasher anymore. I get irritated when I start checking my silverware and it's not clean. So this Dishwasher works well for pots and pans. You just store them in the dishwasher. You don't you don't wash them. You just store them, and that's a good place to store those extra big pots and pans. That's a household hint for you in case Hillary hasn't told. You. No, what's her name? Hillary? No, that's not her name. Somebody told me the other day. You see what happens when you start getting old? I'm warning you in advance. You better write everything down now because you're not going to remember it later. Get my dishes in the sink here. Have them ready. What? And we just wait a minute or two and we'll take out the pie crust that has the cheese melting. I'm going to look at it pretty quick because I don't want to take any chances. 
Oh, what I'd give for a nice big kitchen. One that I could really sp spread everything out and show you all my pretty antique gadgets. I've always wanted something like that. But, uh, whoa, that pie crust is ready. It melted the cheese. Set it here for just a second. Get the pan back in there. Now, let me hold that with my pot holder. So you can see you can see how the cheese has melted. Well, I think you can. The lot not right. But anyway, you get the idea. That Thank you. We may be eating keys off the floor. Let me get my fork. Got to get that crust back in place along the side. Push it up with my spoon. It'll be okay. I didn't ruin it. Just came close to it. Yep, that's gonna be okay. Now I can pick it up and put it over here and let it sit. I don't want to put it in yet because when I put it on that long sheet, it's not big enough for my um, extra pan and it'll cause the pan to slant. And you know what happens when the pan slants? You're going to have a lot of stuff all over your oven. So this is just going to wait. until I can take the other one out. And since that's going to be another 20 or 30 minutes, I'm going to break away from you. And we'll call this part one of Granny Pat's quiche. Quiche, what will we call it? Granny Pat's Experimental quiche, how's that? So, I'm gonna go off, and when I come back on, we'll be working with part two. Now, you can go take your nap, or wait till tomorrow, and you'll have a new video to watch. You've been very good about keeping up with my videos, but I'll tell you what, you know, I've got right now, 217 videos. This one will be 218. That's a lot of videos. What I'm going to suggest to you is when you have the spare time, you know, it fills your time when there's nothing to do and the weather's bad. Start at the beginning. And you might even see as I went along a little bit of improvement in my uh, presentation. A little more confidence in my own self presenting these stories and these recipes that I don't have confidence in. So, start at the beginning. The very first one was the strawberry trifle. That's where I did the whole video and the the video wasn't even working. And I had to go back and do it all over again. And I don't like to do that. So, keep in mind when you get down, I don't know if you can put, put them in the order that they were done, but 
on my iPad because I am the whatever you call me. Um mm -hmm. the one presenting the the videos. They are in order. And you might check to see if you can bring up the contents of my video or contents of Chit Chat with Granny Pat and maybe they will be in that order. If not, they will say like one and a half years ago or one year ago or nine months, seven months, six months. That way you can go back as far as you can. And the oldest one's going to be almost two years. Almost two years I've been doing this. It has flown by. Would never have believed I could have put this many videos on. And I've got a few stories I still yet to tell. I just haven't been able to put them together the way I want them to be. I will eventually. And some things I realized I have repeated. Not exactly the same, but I have repeated some short story. So you can wish my sister a happy 95th birthday. She looked great. She's doing great. And you can figure if she made it that far, I will too. Stick with me. I'll be right back with you shortly. <laughs> 